Hey YouTube, this is Jazza and Jazza is a Hungarian vizsla and what she likes to do some days isn't always appropriate to what we want yeah. her to do. Now you know what, when you are training a certain breed, yes they may have certain traits and we feel that we could do a little deep dive yeah. into Jazza. So let's share with you our top tips on working with someone from the gun dog group. In this case we've got a, a Hungarian vizsla and what we are looking for first and foremost with our gun dogs, Lauren. Jazza, I think we're going to look for our head off the floor. Yeah. Because you know what, as a breed, at times what she would like to do is have her head on the floor. Yeah. Now for me, head on the floor isn't always something I find too attractive as an mm. option. So I don't want it as an option. So I'm playing a game called Magic Hand. We're playing it together, as you can see, it's a partnership <laughs> going on here. Uh, what um, we're looking it's a good for game. Is for, you know, when we're working with, with a gun dog early on, we're looking for most of the value, most of that daily food allowance, yes. that food that they have each day to be delivered when their head is off the ground. So we might play a little bit of what we call magic hand, like Lauren's playing, or we might actually feed that directly to her mouth. And the more, brilliant, and the more value that she has for having her head off the ground, the less likely she's gonna catch a scent and potentially go hunting, which certainly her genetics might drive her towards. Now, when she does get her head on the ground, at times she finds it hard to disengage. Yeah. So another game I really like to play with a dog like Jazza, she's a Hungarian, Vizsla, but equally we could say lots of different gun dog breeds yeah. uh, fit very nicely into here um, and I would say something like get it a little bit of thunder so yeah. she comes here get it nice get it nice yeah. get it and super. because we're, we're, we're adding in movement we're throwing the next piece of the food her head pings up off the ground she orients to us and she races back to us. So she's not, you know, the less time you give them, the less time they're likely to, you know, engage in a scent, hunt, and then ignore you. Now she found that very exciting. Yes. And I can tell you now, she also finds visitors very exciting. Yep. And Jazz is quite a big dog, as are many of her uh, gun dog crew. So the Labradors, the working retrievers, and the, the pointers, and all of that um, mm. sort of size category. So looking at a dog like Jazza, I find boundary games really, really useful yeah. to enable me as an owner to know that when I need to ground them and when I need to give them effectively a space to go and settle, I've got this. I've got this, Jazza. And so what I can do is I can pop her there and know that visitors, no, no brainer, yeah. it's easy, right? Yeah. We can. No sweat in it. Like we've literally, this. we've got this because the boundary is an anchor for her. And whatever's happening, I am able to keep her there, whatever the distraction. Now, we've got a whole badge on Boundary Games, yeah, right? absolutely. We've got a program that we put together. It's called Boundary Games, creative name. And you can find out more about that on the Absolute Dogs store, absolute-dogs. Dot com, find it on the website, and basically it teaches you the step by step to teach your gun dog to stay anchored to a boundary no matter what is going on in the environment. Now, when we call Jazza a gun dog, Jazza isn't actually a gun dog in the sense that she goes out and does shooting and brings in birds. Jazza, that's her breed group, Jazz. So it's her breed group. However, most of the time, I'm asking for her to be a nice family uh, pet. Yep. Now, being a nice family pet, another thing I found owning a dog as big as Jazza, and although Jazza as one of our students' dogs, she is a big dog. Uh, yeah. And so what I've noticed is actually she walks really nicely on the lead. Mm -hmm. Now, I think another skill I would work on if I owned a dog like Jazza is really growing that proximity and then yeah. taking it to on lead yeah, work. Absolutely. Because she is a big dog and you may have a Labrador that pulls or um, a, another breed that pulls, but those big dogs, they have way more sort of pulling power. Yeah. So whereas we might think about little thistle, miniature sort of small type breed, mm -hmm. actually, that's quite manageable if she yeah. pulls. This one, when she pulls, she's going to take you down. And so what we're looking for, again, that pot of daily food allowance, how can we spend it in this zone around us? Maybe it's a bit of magic yes. hand. Maybe it's a little bit of middle. Can we do a bit of middle? 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 Can you do middle? She says, not while I've got food in that hand. I'm going to give you this one here. Jazz a middle. I'm surprised you with Kids. that one. There we go. Super. So can we do a bit of middle? Super. Can we just do a bit of drip feeding Super. in our presence and see if you Super. know they will want to match and mirror um, where we are going, Super. right? And see what we get. Super. Brilliant. Nice. Brilliant. Super. Nice. She's like, I, I know, like the boundary is oh, here like and I like, I like my, my middle. <laughs> it's so much fun. And so for us, these are all games that we would be incorporating, owning yeah. a breed like the Hungarian Vizsla or any of the associated breeds. Because ultimately, 
These are dogs who are really keen to work. They're really keen to be employed. Mm -hmm. My last tip for you, and this is a really important one, and it's actually a don't rather than a do, and then I'll give you the do straight after. Don't let them learn to hunt. Yeah. So don't let them go self-employed. Don't let them go rogue. Don't let them find their own way to find fun on, on their own without you. Because actually, what we really want them to do at this stage is find you really yeah. reinforcing. How do you do that? You ditch the bowl. You ditch the routine. You make sure that you are a big part of their world. Because unless they're actively going to go and do that as their job, it's probably not going to be that useful yeah. for you in your day-to-day -day living with a dog like Jazza. And the best best place to start with that is the 25 day sexier than a squirrel challenge which you can find out more about by heading to absolutedogs.me forward slash sexy so with that guys that was this episode of absolute dogs tv make sure to subscribe to the youtube channel that is how we would approach training a gun dog we hope you found that useful go forth and play some games Remember game changers, whatever the dog owning struggle, there's a game for that. If you haven't already, remember to subscribe to our channel. And check out our new 25 day online dog training challenge. Watch the videos, play the games, transform your dog owning struggles. As a loyal YouTube subscriber, you can get a 70% discount through the link in the description below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the number one most transformational dog training podcast on iTunes and Spotify, the Sexier Than a Squirrel podcast. And remember to follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more live teaching, video content and free training using the links in the description.